The Strahlhorn is a 4,000 metre peak in the Valais Alps. The normal route of ascent is a snow plod from the Britannia hut near Sasfe, working through the crevasse zones on the Alalin Glacier. However, two years previously, while climbing the Rumfishhorn, we spotted a more interesting and challenging route, approaching from the Zermatt side and traversing the Adlerhorn to meet the Strahlhorn near the summit. So, once again, we found ourselves at the Senega Funicular Railway and made our way to the comfortable and friendly guest house flue for the night. Up for breakfast at three o'clock, we had already surveyed our approach the night before, picking a point for the loose descent to the glacier. The glacier recession obvious, leaving 150 metres of lateral moraine. It was a beautiful morning with special views across the valley towards the Matterhorn. However, a big storm was forecast for late afternoon, so we had to keep moving in case it came early. We're on the Bear Adler Glacier now. With the storm forecast, we had to make a decision below the Adlerhorn summit whether to continue or not, because we'd be committed to the climb for the next hour or so until we reached a walk-off descent option from the Strahlhorn. Easy crossing of the Bergschrund up onto the ridge. Nice broad slope. It was nice to find no footprints on the route. The Adlerhorn's west ridge is mainly easy angled but steepens to 45 degrees just below the summit where we suddenly encountered an icy section. The sky was still clear so we chose to continue committing to reach the Strahlhorn for our descent option. Oh, we hit a really icy bit here so we've pitched it. We belayed from two ice screws as it turned out, the icy section was only about 30 metres and the angle eased quickly, but it's best to be on the safe side. There's the Adler horn. One short little pitch to get to the top from where we belayed. And then looking down off the Adler horn to the coal of the Stroll horn. I'm pretty happy to see what we need to. The ridge up to the Strahlhorn is quite corniced. That's overhanging snow caused by the wind. Because of the cornices, we stayed well to the left. We did find a few more patches of ice, but managed to avoid the worst of it. Clouds building in Italy, but clear skies and fantastic views west. All that remains is to wander across to the summit, staying well inside the cornices. Bergheil Strahlhorn. A lot of cloud over Italy. Forecast is for a metre of snow tonight. So that concludes our two-week climbing holiday to Europe. Gonna be forced to go down to Lake Geneva, eat pizza and drink beer like everyone else for the next two days. The thing I love about Switzerland are the views. 